Cheers! Welcome to Movie Bitches. Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race UK! Hey! Ah! We have a very Hi. special guest. Oh, right! <laughs> <laughs> we have a very special guest. Lee Dawson has come to be our translator. I, right? <laughs> Although you didn't need much It wasn't too bad, too bad this yeah. episode, at least. I'm sure there'll be we'll parts see. along the season where I'll be like, huh? It might get worse. Yeah. In we'll the best way. You. We'll message you. We'll be like, what the hell is exactly. that? Exactly. First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Try Wink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. Ooh, the $22 off is really good now. Because it's, it's Drag Race bottom. UK. Yeah. $22 off. Oh, your first message. <laughs> is that an English thing? Yeah. It's not American. I guess so. Yeah. Is what it is. In America, it's. Hi, I'm the UK. <laughs> <laughs> also, shout out to our Patreons. $5 a month more gets you early access. Also. And to Lee's Patreon. Yes. yes. Also, $10 a month or more gets you access to our viewing parties. We did one with Lee where we watched this episode, so you can go on Patreon and watch that. Make sure to subscribe, share, whole. <laughs> Subscribe to Lee Dawson's videos. Whole. Oh. Every time. <laughs> so, first episode was really fun. Yeah. Was, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I like all these queens. Nobody yeah. seems to be a total mess. No. no. It's nice. Yes. More relaxed. Yeah. It is a little more relaxed. I mean, maybe that is because there's no prize money. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's just let's talk about it. So it's just like Great British Bake Off. Yeah. You know, there's the prize is a one. platter. <laughs> You get an etched platter and you won. Yeah. The prize here is you get a WOW online TV show. Which is not nothing. Not nothing. But it's not, not $100,000. Not $100, I feel like you need to have a specific charisma in front of a camera though. My mind does sort of wonder what sort of show each queen would have. Yeah, and like. you speculate. Well, I guess that's kind of fun though too in that like they can, I'm assuming, cater it to whatever they would want. Yeah. It's their show, you know, not yours. The acting challenge next week will be a good indicator. Ooh, yeah, of like yes. who has the charisma. Also, I said the funny thing is to the pins. I mean, so the Peter, what is it? Rue Peter. The blue Peter. Yeah. So. Oh, Rue, oh, she changed it to Rue Peter. Yeah. Because yes. we were watching it, we didn't really pause much, but it was it, it's play on obviously Blue Peter for you might have people who don't even know Blue Peter. I yeah, guess, I didn't but know that. They have a purple heart. They have blue Peters. It's just like a typical. Kids magazine show, I guess, but not a purple mm. heart. It's not a purple definitely not a purple heart. heart. I don't remember what it looked like. The badge. I mean, Vivian was sporting it at the end. I yes, know, I was. liked it. You've won our very first Rue Peter badge. <laughs> <laughs> Vivian's my front runner, and I really like Scaredy Cat, who we're renaming Freddy Cat. <laughs> so first into the workroom, bag of chips. This Power suit, 80s, cheetah print, glitter, Alexis Carrington. I didn't mind it. I, I didn't mind it. I could have used an contest. accessory maybe, yeah. a purse, something, a hat, I don't know, something. I did like the confessional look, like overall, like the backgrounds and stuff, mm -hmm. they've switched up a little. I like it. It's was she the one who didn't have a purse as the queen? No. No, that was Cheryl. Oh, oh, oh Cheryl. right. Okay, never mind. Because I was going to say, interesting that I'm noticing a theme, but I'm not. Bag of chips here, queen of the battered sausage, and I love to be covered in daddy's sauce. <laughs> <laughs> is daddy sauce what I think it is? HP brown sauce, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not what I thought. I think that's the joke, though. Next was Blue Hydrangea, and she looked like a bush of blue. I absolutely loathe hydrangeas. I know, is she going to make that joke? I mean, one would hope. Um, no, I mean, I liked this. She looked great. Yeah. I think so. I could use a tit. Yes. I could have used a tip. I think we could all use a tip. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like a blue hydrate. Yeah, she's branding. You gotta get their brand out there. Well, this is when you do it. Particularly on the first episode when I don't remember anyone's name yet. Yeah. It's, who's that? Oh, well, uh, clearly that's blue hydrate. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Standing out is good. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, memorable. So next was Davina the Campo, who I really like. Uh, obviously, she, she mostly performs in Manchester. When I was in bars, you know, uh, see her around and she she sings so well. I can sing in five languages in four and a half octaves while doing the splits. So there, bitch. But this look, I liked her, but this look was forgettable for me. It, it wasn't like, ooh, yes, that fabulous look. It was like, oh yeah, you look good. I will say that like in the confessional, she really gives me Katya, like British Katya. Just because I married an old rich man who's gonna die soon doesn't mean that it was easy. But maybe I am. <laughs> the big smile and the laugh, the like, the, the I think it's really the laugh and like right. the bubbly, eat, fun, eat it. kooky, weird, yeah. you know, like, yes, I want to watch all of this. Can't okay. wait. Yeah. I like her. Oh boy, so next was Crystal, who used to be Crystal, Crystal. 
Crystal Beth? Right. Yeah. Or Apparently, Beth? I think we heard her name was Crystal Beth, but they wouldn't let her do it because it was a drug reference, obviously. I lost me to Matt. Did you ever see those billboards? Yeah. yeah. There was like a whole campaign where it was like, I lost me, and it was like, to Matt. She, in the nicest way possible, because we all know I'm never shady, um, she is the one that, if, if there's one I forget, it's always her, and I don't know why. Crystal? Yeah. Oh, okay. yes. I thought we were still oh, talking about Matt. I was too. <laughs> no, no, yes. it's okay. Crystal, because I, I think that happened a couple times while we were watching, you'd be like, which one's that? And I was like, I think it's Crystal. Yeah. She reminds me of Pearl. That's oh. exactly what it is. And sure. Who I like, I like her aesthetic. I like Pearl actually. I, I, when we get to that season, I'm definitely going to be a Pearl apologist. I think I haven't seen it since. Sure. But anyway, but that vibe of like laid back. I'm kind of cool. Yeah. Forget like oh I forgot you were there. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, but this look mm, could have fit better. The silhouette was not flattering. No. And if that's what you want, then that's fine, I guess. Well, but it's so overly exaggerated. It was just. A uniboo of rainbow brights. It was like streamers. A, I'm, I'm not sure. It just came back to me. Yes. You remembered. I did not like this it. look. I hated this look. I'm sorry. I did not like it. Um, <laughs> You're like, oh right. Yeah, because yeah, uh. I called it out when I first saw it. It was a bit hodgepodge. Yes, I, I think crafty. The, crafty. I don't mind crafty. It's just the shape was wrong. Yeah. I liked this yeah. kind of like you know those it printer look ribbons. Like the printer ribbons. Yeah, yeah, and it was like all kind of iridescent colors and stuff. But I feel like. Courtney Act would have done this kind of look in like a really more refined and like yeah. mm. and she would have been like vixen to way. The gods yeah, exactly. Like, Give me a good cinch and some shape. You could really play with those ribbons on like, you know, exaggerate your lemon. hips. Exactly. That would have been fun. Yeah. It was like halfway there. So yes, so Samteen Wong did not love her her walk-in look. Well, I mean, the the wig makeup line was aggressive. Yeah, I was not fond of that. It well, was... she doesn't seem to be fond of blending so much. And that's fine. <laughs> that's not so fond shady. of blending. No, it's not. It's just, I mean, like, it, Trixie Mattel is not like a blender. No, 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 no. no, no. But her well, that part, separation yes. between her makeup and her wig line was aggressive. <laughs> that's fair. It was like a moat. It was aggressive. That was shady boots. That was so shady. <laughs> She doesn't seem to enjoy putting on good makeup. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the British way of saying it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but yeah. the look was... Uh... Yeah, the orange, sarongy, tied, crop top, mm. um, with mm. like a nude... Robe? Pashmina robe. Didn't love it. Not that flowering. No, <laughs> not... No, it was... It, was... it sounded like you said not that flowering. flowering. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't either. No. She's no blue-eyed ranger. <laughs> No. She's an orange Julius. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Next was Cheryl Hole, and I really like this look. And I'm not just saying that because I love Cheryl to bits, because yes. I do. Uh, really proud of her that she's got on the show. I really like this look. I mean, I didn't love it, but it was one of the strongest. I yeah. really liked it. I thought that the nude illusion could have been blended better to like it looks like nude it yes. looks like a nude illusion the theory, outfit yes. looked like something to me that brooklyn heights would wear but yeah. i feel like she would just wear the black bands <laughs> it was sort of this fringed bathing suit of yes. straps and but it was sexy yeah. and, and the hair was bad the, yeah. oh, the wig was great she came in she had good confidence like, yes, yes. There, there was one or two that came in there was like no like, like gravitas to the entrance was like hey yeah <laughs> Is somebody order delivery? Because I'm about to take away the crown. Yeah, I think if Cheryl's face um, color had matched the nude illusion better, mm. it just would have flowed a little bit. And yeah. if she had given herself a real body, adi, adi, it would have took it over the top. Yes. But I really liked it. I really liked it too. I um, I had the same thought. Yeah, yeah I agree. She did have the best makeup though. Oh yeah, definitely. So next out was Gothi Kendall, who I really like and I'm kind of bummed, spoiler alert, that she goes home. <laughs> Yeah. She didn't have the confidence. No. But I liked her looks and uh, I mean not so much later. But I liked this and yes. I liked her in the Meet the Queens. Yes, well I remember from the Meet the Queens that we liked her but we had the same thoughts. Yeah. It was like, ooh, she needs to get more excited about herself. And I don't think she ever got there. I liked from here downwards. <laughs> I I wasn't a you fan. You didn't like of, the donut hair. I did. Oh, I liked the the well, anal bead hair because it, it was a little like. I, it, I mean, it went at least it went with the like, sure. space. Yes. You know, yes. purple glittering Teletubby. jumpsuit. I wasn't mad at the look. I, I did like the look. Yeah, yeah. Although, what did she say when she walked in? No idea. Oh. So this is what it looks like. Couldn't tell you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also, I might not have understood it. So start your engines. I'm ready to take off. 
No, she definitely didn't have she's that going, much. Because she's going to space. Oh. Wouldn't it be amazing if one walked in and they were like, I can't wait to win this hundred thousand pounds. <laughs> and then Bruce like, you've won a badge. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to change your whole intro now. Oh no. They don't even win a dollar. They don't even win. I'm not even mad at it. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I really like the boy look though. Just, yes. It was, it was cute. It was just a little sequin top. Sequence moment. It's yeah, a just sequence. Little, se just little sequence. Sequence. <laughs> Next was vinegar face. What was it? No, vinegar, vinegar face. <laughs> vinegar strokes because yes. it's the face that you make. I got confused. You, but you got there. I don't understand that. I don't either, really. Okay. But well, from what I understood was that it was like a slang word for um, like an O face. Right. Is oh, I don't. Is that a thing? Vinegar strokes. I mean, I'm, stroke. I'm stroking. Like myself. vinegar strokes. Shoes. How did you feel about the shoes? Oh well. Anyone who watched the viewing party knows that April was not a fan immediately. <laughs> well, she's got all these dark purpley burgundies going on in the mm. details of the suit and mm -hmm. in the bustier, and then she's got like bright red, you know, sequined shoes it just didn't match it didn't know and maybe if she'd even had the lip that matched sasha velour's lip you know Ooh, with the yeah, shoes sure. but still i was like oh no they didn't, they didn't elevate look. the look no she looked like some sort of you know broadway devil right you know sure the tails bit. like she had the right. cheetah power suit on with like yeah. really long i like i like the I look like the, the yeah. suit. it was kind of funny it was like something like queen latifah would wear to i'm not really sure what but <laughs> I don't. That's... the mtv movie awards where she's pretending to be the devil. I don't know. I don't know. But the winner seen... receives a badge. Oh my god. I like that Andrew was like, does she have a tail? What's like, happening? oh, I couldn't tell because they were very close. Now, I would like it if she had just had like a devil tail as her tail. Oh my god, sure. And the little horns. And she could be a little Broadway Whoa. jazzy devil. I'm down to I like it. April loves the jazzy devil. I mean, come on, it's the best kind. <laughs> Next is Scaredy Cat. Yes. <laughs> or or Freddy Cat. I like Freddy Cat. I'm mean, sticking with Freddy Cat. <laughs> I can't help but really like Scary Cat. I, I think too. she's got a lot Enduring. of ideas and she's big about them. Yep. <laughs> a lot of spunk. A lot of spunk. Feels like she's in on the joke. Like, yes. Yes. And you know, it's funny because I mean, this is obviously not the first time that we've seen a very young queen with very little experience. You know, Valentina has only been doing it for seven months. <laughs> right. But Valentina came in in that season and had all of these ideas and looks and... And, and the confidence. A, and a confidence. And I think that Scaredy Cat, Freddy Cat, whatever you want to call her, <laughs> really does have that where she's like, even though I don't have the experience that you do, I definitely have a point of view yes. and a confidence. And I think that's often more important. Yeah. If you commit to the bit, then you can sell anything that you want. And I'm excited to see, you know, eight different Bratz dolls. I mean... Oh my god. Well, she comes in as like, I don't even know, Marie Antoinette... Ghost... Ghost doll. Br Bratz, Bratz... Cat. Love it. Bratz Cat. Ooh, I love Ooh, that. Bratz Cat. She had, she had a cold with the nose just being a little pinker than the rest of her. <laughs> yeah. One thing is with the experience, I feel like producers really like queens to come in like, on experience, so all the other queens can be like, um, oh yeah. Well, I do feel like she's reveling and being like, I've never been to a drag show. So, right. <laughs> well, right. I've never performed. What's drag? <laughs> I'm on Drag Race? What? Oh my god. It's like a little bit. Like, That's no, what you yeah. do, you make them unsuspecting of you and then yeah. you yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe you don't need loads of experience to do this. Maybe you just need um, talent. I have to talk about Scary Cat's confessional look with this cat collar. I'm obsessed. Everything. I'm obsessed with it. I want it in every animal. Just wrapped around. Well, you should just make one that you can button on to the collar of anything. Yes! And Love then you it. can do. You know what it, she reminds me of some ways mm. of Kim Joy? Yes! Like with from a fox British, around from her British from Bake Off. She's just like an Etsy store oh, person. Don't watch Bake Off. Don't watch Bake Off. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's I enjoy it, I just don't sit down to partake in the soggy bottoms. <laughs> no, she's just a walking Etsy store and it's great. Yeah. Last in the workroom is the Vivian, who's fabulous. That, yes. Love her. Yeah. All the confidence, personality, looks like so far she's the front runner for me. Yeah, she's certainly the it's most one, polished. One episode. She but... has um, definite personality. So she like... has charisma, unique, deserving talent. So Period. far. So far, yes. So we'll see how it goes. This like aluminum foil red suit with the huge collar mm. and the red matching glass. This was also a little Jesse double. It just was a little bit. The thing I like about Cheryl is she was serving stank face the whole episode. Oh, the whole the episode. So many reactions of just. I mean, sometimes that's better than having a big personality. Mm. You know, except about like bag of chips was like, I have to say all of the words ever. 
She's a gobshite. She's a gobshite. Uh, where she, they cut to Cheryl or blue hydrangea just going, <laughs> yeah. you know, and that's always fun. It's true. I like a good face story. <laughs> I love that face journey for you. Yeah. <laughs> so quick commercial break and we will be back with more Animals on the Runway. Oh, I wish. I wish it was animals on the runway. Rue animal. <laughs> <laughs> so then Rue comes in. Oh my gosh. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, did any of us like this soup? It was bold. It was bold. I did not particularly care for the, the plate. plate. Did you want a big, giant blue it was a dot? Bright yellow splatter paint. Remember that spin art? Yep. Spin art. Yeah. It was bold. Sure. Didn't love it. But I did like the Brit crew. Oh yeah, the Brit crew! What are those hats called? I don't even know. You know, the British the guard. The Royal Guard. Do they have a hat? Do they have a name? Oh, you mean the- You're British, you know. Brit I should know, but I don't. <laughs> the, okay. the fuzzy the hats. Tory hat? No. I have the no idea. Wi the wind Windsor hat. Castle, right? Isn't that? That's a place. Yeah, that's where they wear them, to guard the castle. <laughs> yeah. Well, they yeah. are the queen, but yes. They should have come in, like, marching with straight faces. That yeah. Yes. Fun. But think, like in the speedo with just the axe and the hat, but like fully serious. Yeah, yes. right. I think I'm these pit crewers could have been more charismatic. More, yes. Oh, they're no Jason. I'll they're just probably that. shy. Well, yeah, I get it. Maybe look at you. It's to the it. first time I get it. Yeah. Yeah. But they could have come out with some real charisma. Mm -hmm. you know? So we got a photo challenge, I'm so but excited. no microwaves. They couldn't oh. afford to fly them out. <laughs> just ruin his DSLR camera. Oh my Which god! I, I this don't think was switched on. I, I didn't realize that the photo shoot was gonna be a boomerang. Basically, right. it's, it's, like a, it's like a TikTok. A, it's like a Vine yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, a TikTok. That's, that's hipper. Yeah. That still exists. Oh, yeah, Vine does not. <laughs> I love this challenge. I thought this uh, yeah. was so fabulous. I mean, it encapsulated my favorite part of the first episode of any season, usually, yep. except in the new ones. Embarrass the queens. Yep. Yes. <laughs> and also in a very British way, I felt like, where it's like, of course we're going to have them decapitated. Like, Well, uh, I mean, that's more French, but sure. Well, yes, true. <laughs> Yes, but I feel like that's more British humor to be like, oh, and then my head's cut off, you know, yeah, instead yeah. of like... What was that one more time? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally no way to replicate what just came out of my mouth. Great. Oh, oh, and then my head's cut off. Oh, my head. Oh, I don't know, I can't do it. You know, it's turning to Angela Lansbury. Right? It's not as bad as Rue. Just... <gasps> oh, Rue's. I mean, their British accents well, were, I think, I, worse I, than mine. I think they were doing it up. Hello, Her Gomna. Purpose? No, I, I think she's trying. On purpose? <laughs> <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs> May I please have some more? <laughs> Cheerio! <laughs> I can't get enough of this green screen dog collar. Whoever thought of that oh needs a Oh my god, oh they my need god. a badge. Yeah. They really should earn They need a Rue Peter badge. They need a Rue Peter badge because this was the best. Mm. <laughs> to see these decapitated green screen. I mean, you're gonna have fun green screening. Oh my god, some, all so many things. Something onto that. I'm excited. I can't wait. <laughs> It was really random, but I noticed they sometimes had flags, you know, when they have the uh -huh. Sometimes they had them, sometimes they didn't. It was like... Was it checkered or was it a Union Jack? It should have been a Union Jack. Right? Well, I think... It's still a race, though. They should be both. Yeah. I guess. Well, when they walked yeah. in, the right. Union Jack behind them was all like cracked. Yeah, the, the, that, the like, wall was all cracked. Is that like a Brexit? Like? Oh, no. I mean, here I you go again. Into it. They explained it, Avril. Look! If Scotland votes to leave, then the Union Jack might change. Yes. That's all I'm saying, but it was all cracked. Like, you know. It was the wall, I think. It was like an artistic choice. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it was a comment on society. Uh, <laughs> I think you're reading way too much into it. I don't it. think so. I don't think so. Sure. Sure, Jan. But, sure, Jan. George Glass. <laughs> we'll see you have to vote. George Tropicana. <laughs> funny. Never heard of a George Glass at our school. And her skill. But this dog collar challenge, I mean, it got me every time. Every time. And you'd see just this much of their wig, mm -hmm. you know, popping out the top. Oh, it was so good. That was the best. There was a couple of really funny ones. Mm -hmm. I loved bag of chips. Just, my tuppence! My tuppence are on display! Feed the birds! <laughs> oh, my tuppence is on show! Feed the birds! Well, and then, and then Blue Hydrangea, like, trying to do a voice that then became Cher. The oh, I'm Cher's decapitated head, bitch. <laughs> Cher, Cher, bitch? Oh, that was great. That was really good. I thought that was gonna win. I know, right? I was kind of, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit surprised that Scaredy Cat won. I thought hers wasn't the best. I think I just shit myself. 
You're watching the BBC. I really thought that Vivian would have it. Like she, she went through all her accents and different That's voices. True. It's like That's true. She gave her and... multiple takes. Cardi B. You're only supposed to blow the bloody hair off. Oh, <laughs> trademark. Oh, lovely. You're only supposed to blow the bloody hair off. Don't you start with me. I guess Rue didn't know who Kim Those was. Were. Well, no, because once once she uh, once Vivian described her, Rue was like. So yeah. I, I guess she's done her homework a little bit, but... Uh, oh, that's true, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be hard having Rue be a judge, because, just like us, we're like, who, what? You know, Yeah, so a little, some of the references... If, might not be... They could be really funny, but if Rue doesn't get it, then it goes over his head. So they announced later that these are airing on Logo a week delayed, I guess. Perhaps they would make an effort to explain British stuff to a non-British audience. They could do it like in the first couple of seasons where they would explain like drag terms, you know, oh, with like, the oh, fishy, and they'd just be like, this means garage this. doors means <laughs> exactly. yeah. yes, yes. Blue Peter badge is exactly. Sure. Maybe they will. Like they had revealed with all the things. And did you ever see Ruby? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. So maybe maybe, maybe the logo version will have it. That'd, That'd be, be fun, like pop up video. So, I wrote. Everyone wrote notes. I wrote literally two lines from the Vivian. I'm going to read the first one now. Just, oh, okay, uh, good. Because I can't recite it. You're not off book yet? Oh. <sighs> Who's this, this gorgeous bin bag? I just love that part. Thank you. Who's this, this gorgeous oh, bin bag? Someone who bagger is that you? Yeah. Bagger looks like she's just been dropped off from prison. <laughs> oh. She picks up this bin bag and goes, oh, yes. Who's this, this gorgeous <laughs> bin bag? Yes. Oh my god, that was good. And then later on, when they're putting their makeup, it's like, Right, should we put this shit on then or something like that? <laughs> oh, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. Right, let's get this shit on. Let's get this shit on because we haven't got long, guys. Well. I did love that um, Gothy was so bad that Rue was oh just, just having the best time. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Just, like, Dying. long pause. <laughs> I give better head than all the queens here. <laughs> like, you're a mess! Like, okay, one more time. Do you have more energy? Can you're you put right. a bit more into that? pretty much the same. Was that better? Cause not much different. <laughs> like... <Is> that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Go. Cool. Not that different, but I'll no, take it. Shady Rue. Yes. Oh, how boring! Yeah. <laughs> My heart will go on. How boring! <laughs> so Rue announces that the maxi challenge is you have to do a look inspired by Queen Elizabeth II. Yes. And a second look inspired by your hometown. <gasps> but not three looks. Just not no. Just the two. Yeah, this is no season three. No. Two prepared looks. Yes. That's true. They didn't have to make anything. I mean, they could okay. have. They could have, I guess. But it didn't seem like anybody did. Or that they had time. They weren't huh. using fabrics from the... FNS fabric. No, there well. was no. Oh, no, there was no. I'm taking all this orange. I'm Actually, taking it. <laughs> Satan made me do it. Satan <laughs> made me do it. <laughs> I'm taking all this fabric. Oh, boy. They, they didn't have any sponsors. No. Is that a BBC thing? Because there's no prizes. Maybe. Uh, but I wonder if BBC, like, doesn't do that. Do that. You're right, yeah. BBC's quite strict about that. Save up money for those Rupert badges. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot to make, all eight of them. I need the Vivian to just accrue them over yes. time. I would like yes. that a lot. So quick commercial break and we will be back with The Runway. <laughs> Rue walks down the runway. Well, first it's back. Like, Ooh, yes. Big silhouette. Shoulders. Shoulders eraser head. Yeah. I mean, like literally. <laughs> And this neon green, it looked like she should have worn the cone. I would have liked it. Oh, oh my god, god. she came down oh. the cone. That would have been great. And or also she off. wore the cone as a crown would be yes. kind of fun. Yes, yes. I love it. Yeah. That'd be fab. I did love that her gloves were just part of like you had to put the it dress was the on sleeves, yeah. gloves first. Yeah. You know, just like fold. I don't know how she got in to or out of this dress. You just went Vroom. Yep. Yeah. Someone helped her. Exactly. It's a one use dress. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. And Alan Carr with this velvet jacket. Yeah. Loved it. He's fab, but what he's what's he from? He, he's a comedian. He's, he's a stand-up comedian, but of... he hosts a lot of shows like Graham Norton does. So. Okay. okay. Andrew Garfield in this it's very 70s Michael Douglas a bit. in the streets of San Francisco with these huge bell yeah, pants. Yeah, pants and the silk Long coat. And, yeah. Big old ring. Yes, I noticed the ring. Time. He was. Good for him living his life. <laughs> he was having a great time. He was excited to be there. Burst down the runway, Crystal. I really wish he was Crystal. 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 I mean, we can call whatever we want. We've done that to many a queen before. That's true. I mean, this wig, the pearls, oh. just... Loved, Loved it. it. It looked like um, box braid, you know, box oh, yeah, yes. whatever, but it was pearls. Pearl. So fab. Yeah. And this huge gown. Um, yeah. 
That's a three day bender. Three day bender. She was reminding me of that dress that Haley Steinfeld wore to the Met Gala, where it was like, no photos, please. You yeah. know, it's like big. I think that must have been a reference. I mean, this was supposed to be London. I oh, don't know. Yeah. Any ideas? Just because you go on three day benders in London? Oh, yeah. No, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Sure. <laughs> I didn't like the bottom half of the dress. It was too much tool. It was, yeah. it was just. Uh, and I didn't like the three-day bender thing. I, I like the idea of it, but I just yeah. feel like the execution was a bit like slapped on a sticker. Yeah, yeah like a decal. Yeah, sure. Like, like an iron-on. Iron on. Yeah. yeah. Here's one I made earlier. Well, that's a Blue Peter reference. That's what? Here's one I made earlier. So they would make a cake and they'd be like, and you put it in the oven for 25, I don't know that voices. You put it in the I oven like for it. 25 like minutes. But obviously kids aren't going to wait. Because right. I think sure. they put it live and they go, yeah. but here's one I made earlier. And that's... That's where we get the term. I but like it. I guess it's I like not it a, lot. a widely. Basically, just uh, the wig was everything. The wig like, was wig, everything. Like, it I was, was the like, wig. Yes. Yeah. And then this sort of gender bending fuck. Oh of right. The chest oh, hair and my the arm hairy hair. And all mm. of like I was making me think of um, this fabulous drag queen I saw in Berlin, and who had like a full like. Oh, Bambi Mercury. Yes. With this like luxurious beard and whatever, and it's like there's a lot of cool fun things going on. I'm like, I don't know if I want like a. Eurovision drag race? Yes, I do want that. Okay, <laughs> where each country like submits their contestant? Yes, I do want that. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> great. Yes. Okay. Let's make it happen. Okay, cool. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't know if I want, yes we do. <laughs> you never have that. too much drag race. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can. More. But, you know. Just... It, would be, it would be a little different, I guess. Yeah, it would be like a variety show. Yeah. Universal. You put on a number. You know, and then air it at the same time as the Super Bowl. Love, Love it. it. Love it. Because who gives a shit? Yeah. Love it. Well, Cheryl Hall walks down the runway next. I, I really like this look. This mm. Essex mom. Where is Essex? <laughs> well, it was the white dress with like the tan line. It was mostly the tan. Like, well, she had tan splotches. Sure, from, like, over the white cutting. dress. Yeah. And she had a bag. She did she have she a did bag have this bag. time. This time. Because <laughs> wasn't there a reality show uh, that was in Essex? The Only Way is Essex? Yeah. Is, that, is this appropriate, this outfit, for that? Uh, it's Essex. <laughs> okay. You're what did the toilet to... paper mean? Yeah. Well, it was just like, you She's know, you mess. come out of a club. Yeah, it's come okay. out of a, um, you know, just a mess. She sold it as well. Like, she came down the runway, she had a proper strut about it. Yeah, the details were all in this. And then she didn't continue that theme. Yes. So next up is something Wong. And it was very dramatic. Yes. The silhouette, she mm. turned the corner and went, oh, oh great. is this the Capricorn challenge? Oh my god. Oh, flashbacks. <laughs> Remember when they did the, Star what's your sign? sign? Yeah. And everyone had horns? Yeah. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> that episode was horns, this episode. Meow! <laughs> but this was dramatic. Yes. And, yeah, I loved it. You know, uh, you had the big bull ring and the horns. The dress was like secondary. The okay. showstopper was the horns. Okay. Yes. The, and the, yeah. bull, the bull ring. The I bull ring was my favorite. The horns kind of looked like a Vienna sausage or something. <laughs> you know, it was like a little too curved. Um, well, they, they were, were a little, little lopsided. Were yeah. Now, if she had a ball cap and just horns. Oh, like Maybe. a little maleficenty, right? Or like a little tuft, like because don't bulls have like just little, little like mane kind of tufts? A little patch, like, yeah, like Crystal's chest. She could have just gone to Crystal Station before and just. Oh my God! Just snip, snip. <laughs> the next is Blue Hydrangea. That was weird. I, well, you know, I just did a thing. I don't know. I like it. Blue Eyed Ranger, she is. Oh, she is, she is. <laughs> no, no, it's a no. Anyway, yeah. so next is Blue Eyed Ranger from Belfast. Did you understand the concept? Well, because so Belfast is where they built the Titanic, among many other ships and steamliners. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so she was the little cranes that held the ships in the dry dock. Yeah, sure. Well, you're correct. So it's just. I just feel like if she didn't say that to me, I'd be like, Oh, I never would have. Oh no, no, no! I mean, she looked like, um, you know, Bumblebee, like half transformed, like Transformers. You know, <laughs> she was just gonna turn into a car, <laughs> right? Weird. Yeah, yeah. It was like a, it was weird. I was like, what? That would be great. I would love it. <laughs> yeah. If they did Transformers runway. It didn't have to necessarily be like transformers, but like that you transform. I mean, I guess that's a two in one. But. Well, yes, but I think a more structural two in one would be kind of cool. A metamorphosis. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, where it, it evolves. Like a butterfly 
into a cocoon. <laughs> a cocoon. Like a cocoon. A cocoon. A cocoon. A cocoon. A cocoon. Some type of like a cocoon grows. So as I'm walking down to the run, walking down the runway, I'm going to grow them. Cause the but the butterfly is actually is in the cocoon. This is the cocoon. Next is bag of chips. I didn't like this look. Oh, I thought you, she you did. Sold I mean, it. She sold. She told she me sold the a character. story. Yeah. I now maybe Andrew Garfield was right, and this was the Brit interpretation of it. I don't know. Maybe that was him explaining it away. For me, I was like. Oh god, you guys. It definitely seemed like the producer's like, please don't send us hate mail. Right, I this mean. This is appropriate for Fritz, for, I swear. For anyone who watched the Amy documentary, I'm like, god, she died already and you're still making fun of her asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> the Amy Winehouse thing because I understand the way of honoring Amy for us Brits is by doing that. It could be sacrilegious in other cultures, yeah. but to us Brits, that's the way to do it. I just feel like for your very first runway, it's just, just up a little bit. It just was a little a basic. More... It was just like a dress with, you know, she had one shoe on. I think the beehive could have been way bigger. Sure. If you're going to do really it, do, start yeah. pulling some weird shit out of your beehive, right? It was just sort of... If you're going to do, like, Amy Winehouse, mm -hmm. then really go over the top with it. She sold it, though. Like, she did she have did. the character of it. Yeah. Yes. I understood it. It was fine. I was honestly surprised that she was apparently in the top three. I guess. Over, yeah. like, I thought there were a lot of other people that their combos were much better. I would have put Frady Cat up there. Yeah. <laughs> So next up is the Vivian. Mm. As Pete Burns, this tartan onesie yeah. and the boots, the controversial boots. Is this the one she put face tape on for? She, uh, she always puts She face always face does. Okay. To not look old. Seems I'm right. sorry, she oh, yeah. always That was face tape. intense. I feel how tight my skin is. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> you look like Gloria Swanson. The face was spot on. Mm. I mean, she really knows how to transform. Obviously, we talk about it later. How to transform her face. Is that your nose? That can't be your nose. But that will come in handy. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, Michelle was clearly very impressed. You've got prosthesis, you've got... I have her, this is my face. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I mean, it's great how you used prosthetics and changed your whole face. <laughs> what? Yeah. It was great. Yeah. It was great. But this was fab. This yeah, one, I really I loved that. this. I thought it was chic and cute. And I mean, I don't really know much about Liverpool except for, isn't that where the Beatles are from? Yep. Yeah. They're Liverpudlian. Wow, really? That really used to make me laugh. I love kid. that. You not heard that? No. Liverpudlian. Liverpudlian. My, my, my mom told me that when I was a kid. I thought it was the funniest thing. So the next is Vinegar Strokes, and I did not care for this at all. <laughs> you know, she had to explain, oh, I got the, the Tims. Got the Tims. The River Tims. The River Tims. <laughs> on me and I you know I was like oh I guess I could see it there was a real crafty like London eye did you understand when they played the East End theme tune like how that plays in yes I thought it, it looked like some sort of star sign like I was like oh are we again are we back at like some mm, what's there's, gonna, the there's yeah. gonna be an arrow sure and like, oh yeah <laughs> like Alan Carr said it was like well there's so many things in London that you could have gone off of and it was like then you went with this oh I wonder if we're gonna get a big Ben look Oh. I'm, I'm sure there'll be something at some point. Big Bendelagram. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like Thank that. You. Even if she'd had a dress that that Thames shape was like painted sure. into, it was literally she like, and then I better, yeah. cut a cardboard piece of, you know, whatever. Else. Like five minutes before she went on the runway. Yeah, she's it was like, really. I missed the room that Thames Oh, shit. Exactly. <laughs> okay, is that right? Is that right? Oh, yeah. God. It just looked a little crafty. It was, yes. And I think she was wearing the same shoes when she walked in. The red, the red, red shoes. The devil shoes. Oh, the boy. Devil. The devil. devil detective. Oh, my God. <laughs> Her wig game is lacking. She brought the party and that wig. Well, we'll talk about it's it. It's only been one episode. <laughs> All four of her wigs were not great. Oh, yeah, okay. That's true. <laughs> Next is a state agent, Gothy <laughs> Kendo. <laughs> it's that the best. read. That was such a good read. It was the best read. She looks like an estate agent that's gone to Regent's Park Zoo and said, Can you face paint me face for 50p? And then she's gone back into work and gone, What do you think, girls? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, went down to the zoo, got her face painted, you know. <laughs> but it was, I mean, it was very confusing, this, this it was. look. It was What's a story, yeah. It's just from... There's something about cheese. L Lester? Lester. Lester. Which is famous so, for cheese? Yeah, they have red cheese. So then... Oh, like the little, the little wax r rounds, and you break it open, like no. a little laughing cow? No. Oh, no. baby bell. That's yeah. baby bell. Yeah, okay, great. Not like that at all. I used to love playing with but that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> While I was like, ooh, your face is painted like a tiger, that's fun. <laughs> but then she was just yeah, like wearing like a black dress. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, well, 
Okay. Executive realness, tiger. No, edition. she'd been in like a cat suit. Sure. You know, real. I don't know. Maybe it would have been better. It's just a big cheese wheel that she slowly peels the wax off herself. Oh, yes. she comes out as a giant baby bell. Um, oh my god. Uh, just cheese it. strings? Yeah, no. like string cheese, we call it. Oh, okay. But yeah. She just peels. Yes, like a banana. Layers of <gasps> cheese. Oh my god. And that's her wig. Oh, oh my god, I love my god. it. There's yes. so many things you can do with cheese. <laughs> Lactose intolerant. <laughs> but she did this. I don't know. I, I mean, it showed off her makeup skills in a way. Leave sure. her alone. She had to sell a house and go to her child's birthday party. Come on! She had a busy That's day. Sure. She had the yeah. runway at six. Have you ever seen those memes where it's like when you have a funeral at 12 and then like a <laughs> yes. birthday party yes. at one? And it's yeah. just like. <laughs> Do we think if she had tufts of hair or painted like her legs, it would have been better? Could have saved I mean, would have been like Chitara. Yeah. Or, or, or like she was getting ready for the cast of. You know what? Oh my god, yes. it just made sense. She's just waiting for her digital fur technology. Her face was ready, but the the rest of it they just add on in, in, in Wasn't post. Wasn't quite ready. Yeah, they just added in post. That's why. So the next up is Freddy Cat. <laughs> I was excited because this was different. She wasn't just a kitty cat brass doll. Like in the Meet the mm -hmm. Queens and her walk-in look were very similar. Yes. I was like worried that she was just a new variation on this. Right. Yeah. No, this was still pretty brass dolly, but it was like the goddess of the forest brass doll. Yeah. And I was into it. Yeah, I was into it too. And just like Mother Leaves Earth. Coming out you know, everywhere. I, I liked like it. She got the color scheme right. Like yes. everything blended. And yes. Then, yeah. And the makeup was still hers, but different. But different, sure. which was nice. So I like this. I yeah. was into it. I was too. It kind of reminded me at home with Amy Sedaris. Mm. One of the skits that she does is like these weird lesbian lovers in a forest house. Love oh. it. I can imagine it already. And, and so <laughs> this, there. I was like, oh, this fits right in. She's the lady who lives in the woods. Next is Davina DeCampo. I don't know, it, just, it feels I like the way you have to Norma say it. I like it was very Norma Yes, DeCampo. Some flair to it. The gay rush. <laughs> this was weird and kind yeah. of Alice in Wonderland-y. Uh -huh. But I really liked it. This like kind of fruit roll-up wig. I mean, I mean, she had me as the trumpet tip. I just want to play on those tit trumpets. <laughs> well, Alan, <laughs> good to know. Oh, well, the trumpet tip. As soon as you walk in and do that, you, yeah, make like, you, you catch people's attention, honestly. It's true. Should they have just... been facing out? It's either, I guess, they're blowing you, or your tits are blowing them. The tits, then it would be like a nipple horn. That yeah. is stupid. What? <laughs> Excuse me? How are your nipples going to blow a horn? It'd be so tiny. That's silly and fun. So is, so is like, wah, wah, you know, it's like, but I don't know. blowing on your own tits. If they were like the, um, the, the little squeezy horns. You know, he has the, squeezy horns? instead of a, a trumpet where you, if you, there's like the, the rubber squeezy ball at the end and you, wah, wah, you know, no, nothing, not ring a bell. <laughs> If the pit crew had come out and blown her horns. You mean the brick crew? <laughs> if the brick crew had come out and blown her horns. I like it. Yeah. I would have liked that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that the trumpet is sparkly too. Oh, yeah. yeah nice like, you, gotta, you gotta glitter well, the trumpet. Glitter everywhere, really. Full yes. glitter. Yes. This was whimsical and fantastical yes. and her hair. I mean, I love this wig. The, the, the wig yeah. was great. It she was very a... fruit roll, fruit by the foot. Yes, fruit by the foot. Oh my god. Remember, did you remember fruit by the foot? No, but we had winders. Oh. Well, is it, I think it's the same thing. Oh, you like roll it. out. It was yeah. like roll, yeah. roll, roll, yeah. roll, yeah. and then you okay. pretend it was your tongue. Mm. Is that just me? No. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, it's so long. Oh, oh my god, I have a lizard tongue. Ah. I didn't get a lot of candy as a kid. It's ah. exciting. This <laughs> yeah. was really fun and over the top, and I, yeah. I liked it a lot. I'm I did too. I'm excited to see more from Davina. I really am. Yes. yes. So quick commercial break, and we will be back with Queens on the runway <laughs> as the Queen. Queens <laughs> squared. <laughs> First up is Crystal. Yeah, I love, I love it. Yeah, we've renamed her. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Oh my God, this body. Body, adi, adi. Yeah. Snatched. So good. This toy soldier, babes in Toyland. Yes. I liked this where it was like a very spot on reference, mm -hmm. yet taken to drag. a different. Exactly. It's like, oh, I'm not just gonna replicate this. I'm gonna dragify it and exactly. make it my own. And yeah. I think that's really. That was my problem with a lot of the Queen looks was it was just a replication. Yeah, sure. Just, and often of not a very good one. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, the second runway was a lot weaker than the first. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's hard to, uh, like, you know, doing your hometown, there's so much pride in that and, sure. like, creativity, and then it's like, oh, and now, like, be the queen? And people have different feelings about that, you know? So it's like, oh. Cheryl's like, I don't need this purse anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 
Batman. Crazy dogs, crazy dogs. That'd be fantastic. Then she'd have to fight the crazy dog with a with a handbag with a brick inside it. Crazy dogs, and crazy dogs. Rawr, kill the queen. No, crazy dog. It's a fucking handbag. A brick in it. Okay, anyway, let's move on. Next is Cheryl Hole. I didn't like this look. No, I was disappointed. It was blah. It wasn't dragged up. No, not at all. In fact, it was dragged down from how fabulous the Queen's look was. It was like, oh, instead of this beautiful like fabric that the Queen was wearing as like the main dress, it was just a pink dress. Pink dress with a coat over it. With a it. coat that wasn't as fabulous as the coat, you know, and the hat wasn't as fabulous as the hat. And the shoes. They were just like horse girl, black shoes. Well, I mean, I guess, like, I get that perhaps if you're going for the queen, right? She's not going to be wearing a stiletto, but at the same time, yeah. dragify it. Or make, it, make more it really funny and make it a character. And have a brick in your purse and hit some dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking handbag. <laughs> With a brick in it. It's the queen. You need to replicate the look and then elevate it and match it to your style. And yes. You just didn't do that. Next up. Sum Ting Wong as the first of our really kitschy over the top. Yes. She's the stamp. She's the queen. Uh, I like this one again. Big silhouette. Impactful. Great idea. Great idea. Mostly executed at a high level. Mostly. I, I still like the look. I still like, liked it. I liked it. Was, I was thought out. It wasn't executed the best because like you say, below the stamp, it was a little... And on the back, even though she had what she... Lick, lick me, me. Which was fun. All of the thoughts were there. I just think the execution could have been... Was like, like a 7 and not a 10. Yeah. I know it's really picky, but like the one, the first thing, it, it was like you could see the sellotape. I don't know how she would get around that, but I feel like... She could have. You could do like a, a fishing line sure. yeah, yeah, thing fishing to keep it hot, or a, maybe a dowel that's painted red behind it that just is attached to the back. Okay. There were different ways that you could do it. He's got all the ideas. I mean, right. I, I'm just a spitball here. Pack your bags for season two. <laughs> exactly. But it still stood out though on the runway. Yes. It really, well, it was definitely memorable. Impact. Okay, yes. she turned the corner and went, oh. And now whatever shady producer. I mean, it did help that she went first. The stamp and the coin, exactly. Because if she came after the coin, Right. I don't I think that would have been as memorable then. You would have been yeah. like, oh, it's a similar thing. Mm -hmm. So, I think she still got our stamp of approval. Oh. <sighs> we got our own, we got our own Ross over here. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> so then next was Blue Hydrangea in, as a pound. Yes. Uh, it was a little wide. It was wide, the skirt was wide, the corset was wide. I really liked it and I thought it was beautifully executed like artistically when she turned around and you know obviously you got that silhouette of the coin the yeah. profile was when well, she painted her face to gorgeous. be all shiny yeah. it was silver. a little weird that just her face was matching the coin and then her degletage was just her skin color i mean she did the silver to match the silver did she do gold to match no the it was gold? just her skin just give me like a gold member head to toe yeah. painted yeah. body suit and then like this oh, yeah okay. yeah but silver in the middle yeah yeah, yeah, I like it. So up next is bag of chips. What do we think? I liked it. You know, I was surprised they read her so much, especially Michelle seemed real hung up on, oh, it's the queen from the 70s, but she looks like she's 70. I think she just like that line. I She really did. Because like when they showed the side by side, I was like, sure. I mean, you know, it's not like she looked like a spring chicken. I think if, well, she's looked old for, I mean, she's like Betty White. Like, yes. I was like, but she's always looked 95, right? Exactly. Like, in my for, mind as yeah, a child. Yeah. She kind of hit a moment and stayed there for 30, three decades. I think if, for 33 decades. 33. I think if the glasses didn't help. She had the sure. real old lady glasses yeah. and throw those off. But this did look more like Professor Umbridge. Yes. <laughs> Andrew okay. doesn't know Harry Potter. My mind went to Slughorn and then... Oh yes, yeah. yes. So, next up, the Vivienne. In my favorite look. Oh I my mean, god. This I, was, I was obsessed with that. I yeah. cackled. I was just... This just tickled me with delight. The queen out on the grounds with the dogs. Yes, and the and ducks. The hounds and the ducks <laughs> and hunting. So silly. The wellies. And, I mean, this was like the Helen Mirren queen that I remembered. From the, the only movie. thing that would have been fun is if she had like one of those silly dogs on a... Yeah, like a, like a fake, you know, yeah, yeah, like a fake, yeah, like a corgi, like... Yeah, that's exactly, yeah, go get them, you know! I really like this look, it looked really different from my first one. Yes. Um, it was yeah. campy as well, like you had the duck <laughs> slides on the bottom, it was... Oh my God. It, was <laughs> it was campy, but it was very well polished, there was attention to detail, it was an entire concept that told the story quickly, effectively, I, it was... It is, I mean, this is definitely my favorite look. Next was Vinegar Strokes, and I didn't quite get this. Mm. I didn't like it. I could see what she was going for, but uh -huh. the fabric was... I couldn't. I mean, like, they showed, you know, the, mm, it's like, yeah. oh, and then she's appropriating different culture. Like, 
And right. he's wearing turbans, like, you know, it's like a little bit like, oh, I could Come definitely on, wear, you know, <laughs> wearing this. Mm. The fabric was kind of cheap. It looked, you know, wrinkly with the white belt, right. you know, yeah. it just, and the hair coming out of the turban didn't look right. It just looked a little cheap. It didn't seem queen like. It was not regal. Regal, right. No. That's yeah. a good word, regal. And the pearl necklace. Now that is the biggest pearl necklace I've ever seen. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> trust me. Next on the runway is Gothi Kendall, and she was doing 1950s. Was she? Like no. coronation. Right. Uh, Very young. Yeah. But I, um, this, I mean, yeah. someone said it later, she's like, it looks like she forgot half her outfit, and it just kind of did. Mm. To me, it looked like she didn't put on her dress. Yes, it was like it the was slip. Just like, and the corset, and then the petticoat. Yes. I feel like the problem with Gothi is the confidence, just selling it. Mm -hmm. Like, you can still have a bad outfit and still sell it. It seems like you have, you know, 15 minutes run through this costume trunk, you need to make an outfit. And right. in that case, yes. Yes, no. toss on a sash, you made it work, I get it. girl. Yeah, but this was like, oh, you're wearing a petticoat. Just, like an uncovered was... petticoat. Right. The next one was Brady Cat. Oh, that's really made me laugh is Baby Queen. I mean, she might as well have been in her christening outfit, you know. It was I, well, I thought that's what she was doing, and then I, and then they showed the picture of her as like a five-year-old or eight-year-old or whatever, and I was like, oh, I kind of wish it was literally the christening. Oh, how many times can you use that pun so correctly, like baby, right. Right, baby right. queen? Right. She sold the character. I mean, she Absolutely. says like, oh, I've never performed. Like, okay, oh, I maybe believe you. Um, but she really sold this character of like, oh, I'm throwing a fit, and I'm throwing my shoe, yeah. and I'm such a baby. I love this. I thought it was really great. I'm actually mm -hmm. surprised Freddy Cat was on the top. That's what. I like, particularly over the bag of chips. That's what I'm saying. Both Scaredy Cat, Freddy Cat, and um, ah. and then the next Davino De Campo. I thought both of them could have been above in the um, top. Yeah, b yeah. B above bag of chips. I feel like you need to start saying De Campo like in a very you know, like you were before De Campo. De Campo. Davino De Campo. Some gravitas. Yes. Yeah. Camera. Camera. Yes, yes. Exactly. I thought this was really good. This navy. It looked a little bit like a cap and gown. You know, like, oh, I'm at the graduation. Sure. And yeah, a little bit. Am, you know, but also, to be hat. fair, that's kind of what the Queen's outfit looked like. Sure. It was that very pomp and circumstancy. Like, I think it could have, it was looking like a little wrinkly at the bottom. Like, it just, it looked a little costumey. Okay. Ever so. But it was very good. It all looked a little baggy and sort of costumey. Oh, and I was like, wait, why is it? Oh, it's a tearaway. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think really made me laugh. It really sold it. I or mean, this, like, like, slutty queen, you know? And then, mm, just a little sneaky peek of my butt cheeks, like to detox or something. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> what's that owl that's um, graduating Yeah, yeah like the graduation owl, yes. <laughs> I know the owl. Yeah, right? yeah she did very much look similar. like the graduation <laughs> owl. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> But then it got real slutty all of a sudden. Okay. Yeah, okay. I didn't understand this was a thing. It was... Uh, Probably not necessary. I preferred the first half of that look to the second half. I think I preferred mostly all the first halves. Like, yeah. across the board. Oh, you mean the hometown the looks? The hometown looks were by far I better. thought he meant the first half of the I reveal. I did. I meant the first half of the Venus real reveal, but I also do mean... Yes. The all, all Yorkshire. The hometowns. Yeah, I think that would have been... Oh, my brain just went to James Mansfield's hometown look. I'm okay. I'm a friend of the pod. Aww. She's a friend of the pod. She's a friend. Aww. I like She's it. She sat in this chair. Don't you dare. Underappreciated. Oh, that would have appreciated. Her Gaga look still gets me. I'm mad. Yes, her, like, that's right. Her dazed Vogue cover yeah. Gaga look yeah. is still great. I stand by it. This would have been a better, just just do the hometown looks. We've, we're introducing the queens. We're introducing England to a lot of people. Sure. You know, like all the different counties and everything. So you think they should have just scrapped the royal? Thing. Yeah, or I'd do it later. I would do it for a different one. Also, what I thought could have been fun. I mean, I love paying tribute to uh, Queen Elizabeth II, but... Uh, now, if they'd make them do Queen Elizabeth the first. Well, what I was going to say is if they had had either grab from a bag of buttons and you get a queen, oh. or pick your own queen, mm. let's open up this British history book, you know, and really get into it. I think it would be fun. So the queens untuck. They don't say it or talk about it, really. But, no, it's um, not a separate video. <laughs> no, which is fine. I mean, honestly, like, I wouldn't mind if they just incorporated the untucked into the regular... Drag Race episodes anyway. I mean, like if again, you, you just need two rooms. Well, Even a dummy wall between them, I think, yes. would do it. Oh my <laughs> god. And multiple rooms. Yes. yes. Yeah. While the girls were discussing backstage, Roger <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Bar Queen! Bar Queen! 
talks about how they really felt about Manila's rainbow. Right? Look. Oh my god. It's a great segment, a perfect place to put it. You want to hear everyone's thoughts and yes. fuck this pink hat. Well, yes. fuck this pink hat. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Cheryl was not no, having it. She was pissed. I, I mean, I think that's a light of fire under her. She seemed, everyone was like, oh, you're here. Of course you're here. Oh, sure. Cheryl, we yeah. love you. Oh, Cheryl, yeah. it's obvious that you would be here. So I think it'll be good for her to be like, oh, shit, like I can't just coast. Mm -hmm. I should have brought a bag. Exactly. You need a purse. <laughs> well, she definitely should have. <laughs> just like with the little, the way she holds it. Well, the, but also the way that she was holding her hands without the purse. It seemed like she should needed a purse. Like, it, it made it yeah. more It was an apparent. invisible purse. Yeah. And Vinegar gets really emotional because she's like, fuck, I could go home. Like, yeah. This is for real. Yeah. yeah. And that was sad. It was. I thought it would have lit a little bit more of a fire under the belly. Well, we'll for get the lip sync. Oh. We're here. Should we talk about the lip sync? We yeah, can talk about it. I guess, it. yeah. So, Vinegar Strokes and Gothy Kendall, Kendall are in the bottom. Oh, and the Vivian wins. But I guess it's because they don't, there's no sponsors, so it's not like, oh, and you won a trip to anywhere in the world thanks to alanchuck.travel, sure. you know? They didn't do any of that. The Fort Lauderdale. Oh my god, you won a fabulous trip for two to Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> So I get to go overseas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then Vinegar Strokes and Gothy Kendall are on the bottom, yes. and they have to lip sync to New <laughs> Rules uh, by Dua Lipa. Dua I Dua like Dua the Lipa. song. Yeah. We have different thoughts about it because I. The lip sync? Yeah, because I think it's a great song for a lip sync, but. I think well, it's a good song. I think the lip sync was bad. If you were listening to this song and practicing it, the uh, I got new rules, I kind of. And then the. Boom, boom, boom. That's the perfect opportunity to strut. Yes. And like really oh, yes. Sing. I want someone also th to this song to be on the floor uh -huh. and like serving like, to me. Who's give me doing like, the splits? Who's yes. going to pussy mop the floor? Yes. yes. They didn't. No. It was it was a lot of counting with fingers. Gothi was just doing that middle school thing where it's like, and I hang up the phone. Oh, yeah, and I One, two, two, three, you know. She just didn't look like she was enjoying it much, yeah. really. And then when she spun too much and made herself dizzy, it was a little <laughs> sad. It was a little sad, I'll be honest. I was I was rooting for, I was rooting for her! I really was! I was this too. was underwhelming. It was, and then I was really more disappointed though, I think, in Vinegar Strokes because yeah. she seemed like, oh, and she started, I was like, oh, she's got this. And she's got such a personality. Yes, and she seemed so great, and then it was just kind of lackluster. It was okay. But can we talk about the... Oh, what? Well, at first she... She... Yeah, she, she jiggled her, her tits. tits. Yeah, and then throws her... Throws her turban off to reveal glitter. Mm -hmm. Which was placed just, just in, right? in... Yeah, a, a lump here. Because remember, she was the one in the workroom that was painting stars on her forehead? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, but we never really saw the stars. No. No. Hmm. I mean, okay, here's my thing. Yeah, if you're gonna reveal a wig under a wig, at least make it not the worst wig ever. The worst <laughs> wig ever! This bat, the last wig was so, so bad! It was just so flat, and, and then she put the turban back on the flat wig, and it looked bad! <laughs> here's the really hard thing for me, is that now that we've seen Mark Kanamura? Kana, I don't know how to say his last name. Kanamura. Oh, yeah. Kanamura. From So You Think You Can Dance. Yes, now that we've seen him throw 18 wigs off in a row uh, with glitter at the end and whatever else. It's well, we like, were expecting two more. Yes, I got rules that count up. One, at least two, three, three. four. Come on, at give me. At least three. Yeah. At least three. Yeah, just toss those wigs off. And they can be shitty as fuck because they're there for five seconds. I mean, I'm still waiting for someone to go down. It's just a baby curl. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just an alfalfa. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't wait. It goes to a yarmulke and then a baby <laughs> curl. And Gothi's look is slowly just oh, what her nip keeps like her nip slips, but oh then the petticoats falling down. It was it was a bummer. It was a because I really was rooting for Gothi. I really appreciated a lot of her looks. And it's a shame because it was the confidence most of the totally. time. Totally, yes. like, got in her way. Absolutely. If she had just gotten in there and just like had her fun. spirit that had fun that would have been the perfect 180 if like she was struggling with confidence and the lip sync she'd brought it, it was yeah like, this is what i'm here to do but yeah she just didn't because i thought when it started oh vinegar is going to blow her out of the water it did that it was, was not the case no so had she really just yeah. gone for it sure. yeah so gothy goes home yeah oh she does have a funny joke at the end i'm the uk this pork gothy. chop oh my god that too <laughs> I have to say, there's no one on. I'm gonna be sad for everyone that's leaving. I yeah, think. Yeah, I think yeah. Just like anybody. No, yeah. I mean, sure. it might help that it's a small cast, but yeah, I don't 
I'm, I'm gonna be sad with everyone. But it didn't seem like it was. It's a small cast, but they're all really good. It didn't seem like there was. Sometimes there's the obvious, like, oh god, <sighs> she's just here. So someone has to go home first. You know. Well, let's just say there's room for everybody. There's room for everybody. Let's just say that. You know that kind of thing. Sure. And this didn't feel like that at all. So I mean, first off, thank you, Lee, for joining us. Yes! Thank you. It's so exciting. I wish we could have you all the time, but I obviously know. you live. I wish I knew more about British like culture. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to both of our channels and follow yes. and Patreon and Instagram and Twitter. It's all in the description. Yes. But seriously, guys, thank you for having me. I really of appreciate course. it. It's so a pleasure. It's so fun. Yeah. Yes. And thanks for watching. Make sure to thumbs up. We will be doing more viewing parties, so make sure to subscribe to our Patreon. We'll be doing a mid-season review and a final wrap-up. All Stars right. 5 next week. Oh my god, oh. Oh, I'm so next week! Oh. I think we've got until December, I think you're okay. No, that's what they said, they, they gave the dates. What? When? Oh, you missed that? When was this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so All Stars 5 starts immediately after Drag Race UK ends. <laughs> <laughs> See you later! So, cheer, cheerio! Oh boy. <laughs> cheerio, governor. hello, governor! Cheerio! We got through the whole review without doing <laughs> Cheers! 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 Cheers. <laughs> oh, I love that drink. Mm. Mm.